gentlemen, and welcome to our show. It's Academy Award time again in Hollywood, and this evening we offer our salute to this annual event. Let's begin with a happy number from Walt Disney's Song of the South. It's the truth, it's actual, everything is satisfactual. Zippity doo da, zippity a, wonderful feeling, wonderful day. Starred. Now we'll bring you our lovely champagne lady, Norma Simmer. Norma sings one of this year's top contenders, the Sweetheart Tree. They say there's a tree in the forest, a tree that will give you Beautiful girl. In our new Champagne on Broadway album, there's a fine song by Richard Rogers, which was a winner back in 1945. We invite you to dance as the band plays it. It might as well be spring. One. And
The Osmonds and the Lennons go back a long way, and how we met is truly an amazing story. We were on the Welk Show, and Mr. Osmond decided that his boys were talented enough to be on TV. So he loaded the family into their camper and drove to California. He looked us up in the phone book and just knocked at the door, hoping to get some advice from our dad. Well, Daddy thought the boys were just great and couldn't wait for us to get home from school to hear them. We'll never forget that sound that just filled the room when they opened their mouths. We put them up at our beach house in Malibu, and then our Uncle Jim Lennon, who is a well-known boxing announcer, booked them to sing between bouts at the televised Thursday night fights. Nothing happened for a few days, so the Osmonds drove back to Utah. Well, right after they got home, they got two important calls, one from Andy Williams' father and one from the people at the Disney Studios. The Osmonds did a special for Walt Disney, and after just a few guest shots, became regulars on the Andy Williams TV series, and the rest is history. America adopted the wonderful Osmond family, and they have been a part of the world of entertainment ever since. Each and every one of them a star in the best sense of the word. Now, speaking of stars... A fine Bing Crosby picture going my way won many awards, including one for the best song. Here it is with Larry Hooper and the Lennon Sisters. All right, children, are you ready to review today's lesson? Yes, teacher. Would you like to swing on a star, carry moonbeams home in a jar, and be better off than you are? Or would you rather be a mule? Oh. A mule is an animal with long, funny ears. He kicks up at anything he hears. His back is brawny and his brain is weak. He's just plain stupid with a stubborn streak. But by the way, if you hate to go to school, you may grow up to be a mule. Or would you like to swing on a star, carry moonbeams home in a jar? Or would you rather be a pig? A pig is an animal with dirt on his face. His shoes are a terrible disgrace. He's got no manners when he eats his food. He's fat and lazy and extremely rude. But if you don't care a feather or a fig, mm -hmm, you may grow up to be a pig. Or would you like to swing on a star? Carry moon. And be better off than you are Or would you rather be a fish? Oh. A fish won't do anything but swim in a brook He can't write his name or read a book To fool the people is his only thought <laughs> And though he's slippery, he still gets caught But then if that sort of life is what you wish uh, you may grow up to be a fish And all the monkeys aren't in a zoo Every day you meet quite a few So you can see it's all up to you You can be better than you are Than you are You could be swinging Professor Hooper and girls. And folks, if you're wondering about Diane Lennon, they're very, very happy to tell you she was recently blessed with a seven pound, 12 ounce boy. Thank you. Jimmy Van Usen, who wrote Singing on a Swinging on a Star, had another winner in 1959. Let's listen to Joanne Castle's version of High Hopes.
and she played that piano. Thank you, Joanne Castle. Let's hear from Jimmy Roberts as he recalls the pretty titled song of a 1954 movie, Jimmy Roberts. Three coins in the fountain, each one seeking happiness, thrown by three hopeful lovers. Which one will the fountain bless? Three hearts in the fountain Each heart longing for its own There they lie in the fountain Somewhere in the heart of Rome be granted one heart will wear a valentine make it mine make it mine make it Jimmy. Excellent voice. A beautiful song and a beautiful story. The very first song to win an Academy Award was The Continental, from a movie that featured Ginger Rogers and Fred Astaire. We bring you our own dancing stars, Barbara Boylan and Bobby Burgess. <laughs>
theater, just beautiful. Gorgeous. Hello, gals. Ladies and gentlemen, oh, yes, Alan, Alan Osmond. Hi there. Good, it's to, good to see you, see you, Alan. Thanks for inviting us into your theater. You bet, neighbors. <laughs> <laughs> now, look at the similarities in our family. Oh, isn't it amazing? I mean, we look back and look at our lives, how parallel they've been. Isn't it wonderful? Yes. Uh, and how many members of the Osmonds are here in Branson? Well, all together. Well, all together, there's 72. And we, not all of them are living here yet, but uh, <laughs> a lot of us have moved here, and we love it here in Branson. That's, That's what we great. say. There's 52 of us, and there's 30 living here now. We so. are the world. <laughs> <laughs> you know, another similarity is that you used to star on the Andy Williams show. Oh, yeah. For years, we worked with Andy, too, and he used to tell a joke on stage. He said, you know, it's a lot more fun sharing a dressing room with the Lennon sisters than it was with the Osmonds. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure. He's a great guy. I know. Alan, what, what are your memories of the Christmas show you did? I believe it was oh, 63 with us. We were just greenies from Utah, and we came down. These gals, of course, you've heard it before, but they, they got us going. We will always attribute that to you. But when we were on your show, on the Welk show, I remember singing in the sleigh. You were in the front seat, we were in the back, and we sang a Christmas song together. Of course, I was, what, 13, 14 or so, and I was I thought it was neat to be with these good-looking good gals here. And <laughs> we had a fun time, but we have uh, lots of memories together. Yeah, That's a great. lot. And then here we are in Branson, and you really gave us a push on that when well, I got that phone call. We came here, Jimmy got us to come here, and then we came here, and I said, this town is just right for the Lennons. And I did call you, and I said, you need to check this out. Because, you know, as we travel as families, it's hard because you can break your family up if you don't stay together. This way we can be in one place, have our families around us, perform and do the music we love. We leave the traveling to you folks. <laughs> and you come and, and see you us. Come to our home. That's, That's right. right. And this is where our house is. Isn't it neat? Yeah. yeah. It's just great. Well, you know, the next number on the Welk Show uh, includes Andy's beautiful theme song, Moon River, oh, yes. which just happens to also be the name of his theater here in Branson. And what do you say we give the audience a little preview of the song? And we're going to call in your boys, the oh. second generation. Come on, come on in, guys. Come on, boys. And Thank we're going to do you. Ready? Mm. Moon River, wider than a mile. Sorry, Andy. Oh. <laughs> Take it away, boys. <laughs> east is east, and west is west, and the wrong one I have chose. Let's go where you'll keep on wearing those frills and Stand out in buttons and bows I love you in buckskin Or the skirts that you've homespun But I love you longer, stronger Where your friends don't tote a gun My bones denounce The buckboard bounce And the cactus hurts my toes Let's vamoose where gals keep using those and you're all mine in buttons and bows. Give me Eastern trim and wear women are women in high silk hose and peekaboo clothes. French perfume that rocks the room and you're all mine in buttons and bows. Steve Smith, Greg Dixon, and Johnny Johnson. Well done. Now here's one of the prettiest songs of recent years. The award winner of 1961, Moon River.
you very much, ladies and gentlemen. A very enjoyable dance, Barbara. Thank you, Frank Scott and fellows. Fine arrangement. Johnny Mercer has written the words for many hit songs, including four Academy Award winners. Now, here's Bob Leader with some of Johnny, Johnny's clever words to a Hoagy Carmichael melody. <laughs> Tell them I'll be there in the cool, cool, cool of the evening. Better save a chair when the party's getting a glow on and singing fills the air. In the shack of the night when the dudes are right, you can tell them I'll be there. Now Sue wants barbecue, Sam wants the boil of ham, Grace wants the food stew. And Jake wants a weenie baked steak and the layer cake, he'll get a tummy ache too. Mr. Welk announced that the reason there are only three of us on the show is that Dee Dee had given birth to a little boy, Tommy Gass, who is now the backstage sound engineer at the Champagne Theater here in Branson. It had been a joyous month for the Lennon family because Peggy's new baby boy, Chris, was just four weeks old. And you'll see in the next number, there she is, slim and beautiful, walking on a rooftop singing Chim Chim Cheree. She was and is amazing. All the years that we worked on The Welk Show, we were also amazed at the sets that our art director, Chuck Kuhn, came up with every week. And it wasn't just one set a week, but at least three or four different backgrounds for each program. He could create anything, including ponds with real water and real bridges over them, living trees and plants that were a park one week and a jungle the next. He is truly a theatrical genius. And don't forget, for the first nine years or so, the shows were live, so he had to change the sets while the audience was watching. Today's designers don't know how lucky they are. Stage sets have become more complicated over the years, but good songs like this one never have to change. Chim chimney, chim chimney, chim chim cheree. A sweep is as lucky as lucky can be. Chim chimney, chim chimney, chim chim cheroo. Good luck will rub off when I shake hands with you. Or blow me a kiss, and that's lucky too. Now as the ladder of life has been strung, you might think a sweep's on the bottom most rung. Though I spends me time in the ashes and smoke, in this ale wide world there's no happier bloke. Chim chimney, chim chimney, chim chim cheree. A sweep is as lucky as lucky can be. Chim chimney, chim chimney, chim chim cheroo. Good luck will rub off when I shake hands with you. Or blow me a kiss, and that's lucky too. Ow, I choose me bristles with pride, yes I do. A broom for the shaft and a brush for the flu. Though I'm covered with soot from me head to me toes, a sweep knows he's welcome wherever he goes. Up where the smoke is all billowed and curled, between pavement and stars is the chimney sweep world. When there's hardly no day nor hardly no night, there's things half in shadow and halfway in light. On the rooftops of London, cool out of sight. Chim chimney, chim chimney, chim chim cheree. When you're with the sweep, you're in glad company. Nowhere is there a more happier crew than them what sings chim chim cheree, chim cheroo, oh, chim chim cheree. 
千千秋。Lovely Lennon girls. Back in 1937, our good friend Harry Owens wrote a great song that not only won the Oscar, it became one of the most famous Hawaiian songs of all time. Now here is Joe Feeney to sing it for you. Sweet Leilani, heavenly flower, nature fashion roses kissed with dew and then she placed them in a bower it was the start of you sweet leilani heavenly flower i dreamed of paradise for two In the 1960s, Mr. Welk asked me to do more solos and duets, and it was great fun for me to try something new on the show. As it turned out, my solo work on television expanded to include our appearances at Lake Tahoe and at the Palladium Ballroom in Los Angeles. I was reminded of all this when I saw the number coming up on the show, because in it, I'm wearing this fabulous gown that I wore both in Tahoe and at the Palladium. I felt so good in it, so grown up and sophisticated. I just loved it. Our costume designer, Rose Weiss, had chosen it for me. She knew how much I liked it. I think it was Rosie who told Mr. Welk that I didn't have many gowns of my own and that I really should be allowed to keep it. So he gave it to me, and I wore it and treasured it for many, many years. Thanks again, Rosie. And you too, Mr. Welk. Ladies and gentlemen, a good friend of ours, Colonel Sanders from Kentucky, is with us this evening in our studio audience. We're going to ask him and invite all a few folks to dance a little bit to some champagne music here. A one, a two.
folks, and that, ladies and gentlemen, was Lullaby of Broadway from one of Hollywood's early musicals, Gold Diggers of 1935. We find uh, talented Natalie Nevins in a schoolroom doing some reminiscing. Let's join her as she sings Whatever Will Be, Will Be. When I was just a little girl, I asked my mother, what will I be? Will I be pretty? Will I be rich? Here's what she said. Teacher, what should I try? Should I paint pictures? Should I sing songs? This was her wise reply. Kathy sings this pretty ballad, which has been nominated for this year's award. Kathy Lennon. The shadow of your smile when you are gone will color all. segment we do a comic version of the song the Atchison Topeka and the Santa Fe and it's all about a group of entertainers getting on a train to go out on the road together Larry Hooper is the overwrought conductor trying to get us all organized I think this skit borders somewhat on reality 
Anyway, a number like this was a bit silly, but it gave us all a chance to wear funny costumes and let our hair down a little. In it, you'll see Dick Dale as a myopic sharpshooter aiming at Joanne Castle's head, Kathy, Peggy, and I as old movie stars in vintage furs, and Aladdin in a Victorian cape, hat, and a big fake mustache, pretending to be a Shakespearean actor. In reality, his ham-what-am attitude wasn't too far from the truth. And over the years, we've met a lot of great entertainers, and one of our best buddies is Kathy Lee Gifford. One afternoon, she surprised us by coming on stage and singing Boogie Woogie Bugle Boy with us, and she was great. I love seeing these shows, but you know what the best part is? We're still able to work with our old friends. Almost every person in this number comes to Branson to do the show each year. We're so fortunate that Mr. Welk created an entertainment legacy for all of us. Now here's our talented young keyboard artist, Bob Ralston, playing his arrangement of the 1957 winning song, All the Way. Ladies and gentlemen, it's a great artist, and Bob, I would just like to confess to you uh, in front of all of those people that I'm glad I voted for you when you were only 15 years of age and still in school. I sure am, too. Thank you very much, Lance. <laughs> <Lawrence. You're bad. laughs> Jack Emmel has been with us for nine years. Jack has been a great help to us, especially with his clever ideas for production numbers. Here is one he... Uh, created with all of our boys and girls, I think you'll find it very entertaining. Gee, I sure wish that train would get here. Yeah, so do I. Oops! Oh, these show people sure get on my nerves. All the world's a stage and the men and women are... Oh, Dick, please, please be careful. I ain't never missed yet, have I? Come on, train, and get these people out of here. Hey, gang, listen. Do you hear the 
that whistle down the line. I figure that attention number 49. She's the only one that'll sound that way. On the Anderson, Topeka, and the Santa Fe. See the old smoke rising round the bend. I reckon that she knows she's gonna meet a friend. Folks around these parts get the time of day. From the Anderson, Topeka, and the Santa Fe, here she comes. Jim, you better get the rig. She's got a list of passengers that's mighty big. And they all want lifts to Brown's Hotel. Cause lots of them been traveling for quite a spell. All the way from Philadelphia. On the Atchison, Topeka, and the Santa Fe. show people bother you. I've been around them for the last 40 years. They're not harmful at all. Ordinarily, in this spot, we find Myron Florin playing a polka. However, polkas don't seem to be a winning Academy Awards. So this evening, Myron will play the popular Greek melody, Never on Sunday. gentlemen is another one of this year's contenders. I will wait for you and we feature our Dixieland boys. Dick Catcart is on trumpet, Malin Clark on clarinet, Bob Havens on trombone, and our rhythm section. Gentlemen, swing out. One and two and a... <laughs>
is almost over, and we want to thank you so much for watching. And thanks also to the Osmond Brothers for allowing us to show you around their wonderful theater and for stopping by to reminisce a bit with us. The Lennon family and the Osmond family have been friends a very long time. And I mention them in every show at the Champagne Theater. I always say the Lennons and the Osmonds make up half the population of Branson these days. And it gets a laugh every time. That's so true. Anyway, from all of us in the Welk musical family, stay well, stay tuned for more. And <clears throat> this is a song cue, folks. Thanks for the memory. Thanks for the memory. The light and wine, castles on the Rhine, the Parthenon and moments on the Hudson River line. How lovely it was. Thanks for the memory of rainy afternoons, swinging Harlem tunes, and motor trips and burning lips and burning toast and prunes. How lovely it was. Many's the time that we feasted. Well, while it lasted, we did have fun. And no harm done. And thanks for the memory of sunburns at the shore, nights in Singapore. You might have been a headache, but you never were aboard. So